Okay, here we go. I've rewritten the original equation as 3x to the minus 1 plus 3y to the minus 1 equals 8 to make it easy to use the power rule to take the derivatives. Over here is part A, where I've applied the power rule to each term. Uh, multiply the exponent times the coefficient. So that's minus 3, reduce the exponent by 1, x to the minus 2. Same thing over here, except I have to multiply by y prime, where I'm applying the chain rule. And then I solve for y prime by adding 3x to the minus 2 to both sides of the equation, and then dividing by negative 3y to the minus 2. 3 over negative 3 is negative 1. And to make the x1, it's positive. I write it as y squared over x squared. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Now, for part B, we're going to first solve this equation explicitly for y by multiplying every term by xy, which is the least common denominator of the two fractions. That gives us 3y plus 3x equals 8xy. We want to solve for y, so I transpose the 8xy to the left side of the equation and the plus 3x to the right side, factor out the y, and then divide by 3 minus 8x to give us this expression for y in terms of x, or y is explicitly, we've solved explicitly for y in terms of x. So to take find y prime from this, we're going to use the quotient rule. So it's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. Uh, that numerator simplifies to a minus 9. So there's y prime in terms of x. So there's your two answers there. Now, what are they asking you to do? They're asking you to take this minus 3x over 3 minus 8x, plug it in for y in that part A, and that's what I've done here. Here's minus y squared, y, that minus 3x over 3 minus 8x. I'm squaring that quantity. So minus 3x squared is 9x squared, but I still have this minus sign out front. Over 3 minus 8x, the quantity squared with this x squared in the denominator. Uh, the x squareds cancel out, and I've got minus 9 over 3 minus 8x quantity squared, which is exactly what we got in part B. So that proves what our directions were to do. Check our solutions for part A and part B by substituting the expression for Y into your solution for part A. Done. Okay.